Right, last leg, um, setting up the paper. You'll have a template, I think. Um, I'm just got an A4 piece of paper set up. Layout one. Right click on the tab, page setup manager, modify. You would set this up to whatever printer you need to print it out. Um, I'll set mine up to an, uh, a PDF. Um, I would normally use a monochrome plot style, but for this you want to see the colours, so we won't bother with that. Um, and pretty much that's left to that. Make sure it's one to one because you're printing the paper size out at full size, not the scales. Um, and layout will be fine. So close that down. Now I'll set my viewports layer active. I tend to create a viewport layer with a non um, index color so it means that when I do use my monochrome plot style it still shows up as a, as a pinky color and it means that I get access to manipulate it. Also my plot, my viewport plot style is non-plotting so it won't actually show up at the end of it. There's nothing worse than seeing little borders around all your viewports. Um, make sure your viewports are turned off um, so you don't get to see them. I think on the view that they've got here and the thing, they don't show the the viewports around there, just so the sort of cutoffs. So that's what we'll attempt to do as well. Go so rectangular. Just click and drag. This will be a 3D view. Um, the author, this view doesn't need any sort of scaling, scaling to suit. Double click outside it. If I went to print. Um, can I plot preview from this? Plot preview. You don't get to see that edge. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm talking about. Cancel that out. So we've got that thing that's tucked away at the top. And we've got front elevation, a top elevation, and a side elevation. So we'll bang those in as well. Now, there's nothing wrong with copying viewports, and you can click and then drag, well click twice actually, and then drag, put your finger on the control key and that will copy things for you. Double click on that. Now we'll set the custom view to the top view. So much easier than it ever was. Let's bring that down. I'll juggle these in a second. The other alternative view is to click the grip, tap the space bar, that moves it, then C and space bar, that copies it. That's another way of doing it. Double click inside, we'll go to front. Look at that. Easy, easy, easy. Um, oops. I don't know why I want to this. So front elevation, top elevation, side elevation. This will be right, left. There you go. So, three views, that thing, and then we've got these two scrap views, as they call them. So, that's going to be a um, polygonal, or you could create an object and then turn the object into the viewport. I'll do a polygonal one. Um, let's do it over here to start off with, and then we can always. Let's create that. Now we've got, I think, it says a few things in the completed state. So it's just a little chunk of that, which is going to be, this will hide everything else. And we also want to hide in this viewport um, that and that, I guess. So that's another little thing that we'll do good reason for using layers. Now this has got to be half scale. So set the scale on that to 1 to 2. And then we'll just
sort of so. <coughs> Add your text. Now to create your text you have to create a text style called titles. Um, to create the text style you can either go into annotation and click on that thing. Learn the shortcuts. ST for style. Enter. Um, new T I T L E S OK height 4, you don't have to do this, I prefer to do this and choose a nice little font um, and apply set current, close then you can go in and choose front view just make sure that goes on to side elevation, you get the picture. Just fill that thing in with all the relevant information. Um, I think it's the shaded. So again you can click on that and go down to shaded. And shaded. Shaded. There you go. That'll do it. Oops, and this one. So I hope you've had enormous fun doing this. Um, it's not that tricky. You just have to do things um, in order, really. Uh, thanks very much for watching, listening. Um, hope you've learned something from creating this thing. Sky should be the limit now because most things um, shouldn't be much more tricky than than this to um, to build and none of it is really that tricky. Uh, if I get time I will do the jug thing, the surface modelling. Um, not see much point in surface modelling personally but uh, I will have a go at it. Um, it's always interesting to do these things but anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, good luck with the test. Uh, one final thing, sorry about this, um, oh, two f two things actually, firstly I knew I was aware um, that I put an extra hole in there, um, that's a mistake, don't do that, make sure it's the same as the bit on the bottom, so three, so yeah, sloppiness. Uh, this thing, we've got a mass property um, investigate, so um, M A W -S, S mass prop, select the object, it's just this thing, hit enter and then that gives you the mass um, in whatever, I don't know, grams I guess, or I, I no, can't be. Um, anyway, that's the mass. Don't know what it asks for it has. And place the value for its mass in the title block, no spout or sprinkler. So, to the nearest whole number. So I guess the mass to the nearest um, whole number is five five one 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 eight. So double five triple one eight. That's what I get it as anyway. You might get something different. Um, I think every time I've done this there's been a slightly different mass. I don't know what the standard um, the variable is for it. You're allowed a certain tolerance or you're expecting it to be absolutely smack on. Uh, smack on. Um, I guess this is as probably as good as I've ever done it. So I'm taking care and it's taken me bloody ages to work out some problems. It doesn't take long. I say the whole this whole video series is just over the hour and that's because I've been rabbiting on I reckon you could probably knock this out in about 45 minutes um, and then spend enough time just you know tweaking the bits and reading it carefully and just checking bits over. Just keep checking as you go on. Um, 
and you'll be absolutely fine.